All right, guys, it's gonna go for a little drive in the GLB. See what I think of it. So, <clears throat> first of all, the seats. Seats are reasonably comfy. I will say they're slightly on the harder side, but they're still, still comfy, so not too bad. So yeah, so um, I love, I really love the suede on the seats. They're very, very nice. They um, they feel really good, and yeah, like I said, it's not too bad. It's reasonably comfortable. So <clears throat> the steering wheel, the steering wheel is quite light actually. Gee, that, that's not too bad actually, to be honest. Yeah, it, um, it's quite nippy, quite zippy sort of car. Like you don't realise for 1.3, it's um, it's quite nippy and zippy little thing. So the steering's quite light in this. Uh, yeah, it doesn't. Um, it, it feels quite nice. It uh, yeah, as obviously as you get further up on the speed, it um, it gets slightly a little bit heavier, but. Yeah, it's, it's very nice and um, you sort of feel like you're, um, you know, feel confident on the road and, you know, like it's planted on the road. So yeah, so vision out the front <coughs> is really good. Vision out the back is, is okay when there's no one there. Obviously, if you've got five or seven people in the car, it's, um, it's not as you won't be able to see out the back very much. Vision out the sides is pretty good. The pillars there don't really get in the way too much of even over your shoulder, things like that. So it's, um, that in itself is a good, uh, is a good trade as well. The vision in the mirrors, the mirrors don't do, do a pretty good job. However, they do have the curvature on the corner. I'm not a big fan of that. I've never been a big fan of the curvature. When you overtake someone and the car is in the curve bit of the mirror, it's, to me, it's hard to judge where they really are. So, it's, uh, yeah, something that I've never been a big fan of, but in saying that, other people may find it, uh, very useful. So yeah, but other than that, the mirrors don't do a bad job. So yeah, so um, not too bad at all. So yeah, it's, it is quite nippy. It does sort of get going. Um, it's yeah, it's cool. <laughs> quite a um. But just driving around town as well, like you, you don't you wouldn't really know that you were actually driving a 1.3 litre engine car because, yeah, it doesn't actually feel like it when you're driving around town just in traffic normally at 60 k's or whatever. It actually just feels normal and it's it doesn't take a lot to get the car going up to 60 or whatnot as well. It's it's obviously it's not not a race car by any means, but um, it's reasonably nippy for what you need it for. <clears throat> I was a bit surprised, you know, getting into this the GLB a seven seater, and um, to find out it was only a one point three liter turbo, and I was like, what? What's going on there? So um, yeah, it's uh, it's. Yeah, it's an interesting combination, but it works. And, um, you know, yeah, I um, I mean, compared to the GLA, I did, the GLA had a two liter. It was the GLA 250 I drove, and this is the GLB 200. All the 200 series cars have the 1.3 and the 250s have the two liter. So, yeah, it, um, but you look, you don't really need the two liter. This one does an adequate job of, uh, of you know, driving around town. It looks good, it's comfortable. It's got all the mod cons that you need. It's got these two 10.25 inch screens that uh, is pretty, pretty awesome.
So yeah, it um, it is uh, yeah a very um, yeah a very nice place to be. And the ambient lighting, look, I still I, I know I still just have to point that out everywhere on the door trims. I don't know if you can see it here on the camera, and um, but it. Yeah, and these uh, these vents, and there's actually in the middle of the vents, there's lighting as well. In the middle of the vents at night time, it looks unreal. So uh, yeah, but it's um yeah, look, it it's very nice. There's nice touches there. Obviously, things like where you put your knee against the center console, I think they could have done a better job of making it like soft material because other cars I have driven are soft to have the soft material there. And this is like a you know, a, a hard plasticky sort of or metally sort of thing, but I think they could have done a better job of putting that across the range. So, two mis Mercedes, I will say. And that's the other thing of when you say the name of this, when you say that name, it seems to think that you want to ask it something. So, it comes up with that. <clears throat> That's something, another thing I'm not impressed with is the voice control. With that, yes, the voice control is great when you push a button. However, when you don't push a button, it, um, and just say the name of the vehicle, it yeah, seems to want to think you want to ask it something, which, okay, maybe some people like that. It's not my cup of tea, but, yeah. So, yeah, so, um, the paddles on the steering wheel are very nice as well. You can use. Very nice, seem to um, do a really great job of um, shifting the gears from the seven speed dual clutch transmission. So, yeah, the, these dual clutches are um, incredibly quick, like lightning fast changes. So, um, yeah, that's one of the, the things that helps these these cars get up and uh, get going so well because of the dual clutch system, so yeah. And yeah, look, the air conditioning row of buttons there, yes, it's easy to use. It's not too bad to use. Uh, pretty sort of straightforward, but I mean, look, it, yeah, I think they could have done a slight better job of it or maybe have a digital screen there instead but look you've got buttons to play with it's like something out of the starship enterprise just push buttons here and there and everywhere but yeah um yeah and look the dual dual moon roofs are great the sunroof is great too you get a bit more air it feels a bit more airy or a bit more lighter in the vehicle with the the moonroof open which we've got at the moment so yeah it um it's yeah just quite nice and comfortable the wind noise like a lot of these cars now on mercedes how may i help you like that they just think i want to ask them something so yeah they um they the, the wind noise outside or road noise if you have a listen It's not too bad. Pretty, you don't have to yell and scream and whatnot. It's it's pretty good, so not too bad at all. But yeah, <clears throat> other than that, guys, um, yeah, not too not too bad. The um, the AMG wheel feels real, quite thick and quite good to hang on to. So yeah, not too bad at all. All right, guys. Well, thanks for that, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you already haven't. <clears throat> And um, I look forward to seeing the next one. Thanks, guys.